is Dr. Kavita Singh, Associate Professor in Department of Civil Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So today we are going to discuss a topic called as Hierarchical Database Model. So till now we have uh, learned about the databases, types of databases, different types of databases, how the data is stored in GIS and how we use that data for the analysis purpose. That all we have learned till now. Now today we will be discussing the different kinds of models which are used in the database management. So we have a different model called as hierarchical database model. So this we are going to uh, understand today. So these are the contents which we are going to discuss today. Hierarchical database model, tree structure, parent-child relationship, navigation, data integrity, advantages and disadvantages of hierarchical database model. So hierarchical database model, uh, let us understand what is that hierarchical database model. So it's like a, from hierarchy to the uh, lower level, like from the top level to the lower level, like we say parent-child relationship. So from the parents, the children's, from their children's, grandchildren's, like that, it goes on. So this is called as hierarchical database models. So hierarchical database models are one of the oldest types of database models uh, categorized by their tree-like structure. So it will be tree-like structure. So here will be one uh, main root. Okay, uh, from this root, there will be sub branches like this. So, like this, it will be uh, in a hierarchy, it will be showing the model. So, in this model, data is organized in a hierarchy where each parent record have multiple child records, but each child record has only one parent. So, this structure is, is well suited for representing data with a clear hierarchical relationship. So, uh, this is how it looks like. For example, as, we, as I told you, parent-child relationship. For any kind of instrument also, if we see. So, main uh, root is electronics. Electronics. So, this is the root. So, under the electronics, we have television. We have portable electronics. So under television, we have tube, LCD, plasma. So, these are all uh, sub-classifications from the main classification. Main classification, sub-classification. Again, we have more sub a um, few more subclassification. Like that, if you have port portable electronics, we have MP3 players, CD players, two way radios, flash. So, this is how it will carry on to the uh, continues to the uh, sub classification. So, this is like a tree like structure from the root to the branches. So, this will be the root from there, the branches will be like this. Okay, so this is called as hierarchical database model. So, this model is uh, from the uh, this model is the oldest type so type of model and it is uh, maintained from the long back uh, years and the key characteristics of this kind of model is tree structure like data is organized in a tree like structure where records are represented as nodes. So records will be represented as nodes and each node has a parent and zero or more child nodes. So it has like a suppose one node, the second node the third node so it will be like in the form of nodes and the parent child relationship it will be showing uh, in the model so the top node of the hierarchy is often referred to as the root and all other nodes are descendants of the root so uh, next we will see parent child relationship as i'm telling you every time so each record uh, record means each node node in the database has a single parent can have uh, multiple children. So, single parent has a multiple children. So, for example, uh, this is the parent. From the parent, it has a multiple children. So, for example, three children. So, he, so, here we can say child one. Here we can say child two. Child two. Here we can say child three. So, we have this uh, again and this further, it can be four also. So, the different classifications like from the sub to the uh, a sub classification to the uh, root to the main uh, classifications and this means the relationship between the records and hierarchical and one to many one to many so from it starts from one and it goes to the many this structures allows for easy representation of hierarchical data such as organizational structures or the file systems now this is how it looks like uh, this is the root under this root we have level one child level 1 child, so level 2 child, level 2 child, level 2 child, level 2 child. So like this we have maybe if you go to level 3 child, okay, here level 2, level 3 child. 
so like this it will be keep on uh, classifying so from top to the branches from root main branch to the sub branches so main tree to the sub branches so it's like a tree like structure and it is also known as parent child relationships so a navigation to access the data you typically uh, navigate through the hierarchy or from the root node down to the desired child node uh, so from top to the hierarchy what we say is a uh, navigation is from the typically navigate through the hierarchy from the root node down to the desired child node. so root node to the desired child node is this is the root node this is the root node and under this we have another uh, this is the child node okay child node so under this again you may have one more as child node 1 and child node node 2 so like this we'll be having the uh, different uh, hierarchy root from the desired nodes how many nodes we want it will be going down through the desired child nodes so this model is efficient and hierarchical queries where the data relationship is naturally hierarchical so from hierarchy to the uh, down level and to the desired nodes is called as hierarchical next is data integrity so the model enforces the data in integrity through its uh, hierarchical relationship for instance, deleting a parent record will often result in deletion of all its child records. So as it is from the top to the bottom for root to the branches, we can say. So this is the root and these are all branches if we talk about the branches. So here one, two, three. So if we delete, for instance, deleting the parent record. So if this is deleted, if this is deleted, so entire this is deleted so entire this all uh, child relationships will be deleted so if you delete the main record often result is to result in deletion of all its child records so whatever sub branches will be there whatever sub nodes will be there totally that will be deleted so main uh, thing is like once you delete the main root uh, the entire relationships will be deleted with that entire root now data re uh, re redundancy is like redundancy means can be issue as a similar data and may need to be stored in the multiple places in the within the hierarchy now example structure if we see consider an organizational hierarchy so uh, organizational hierarchy if you talk about so what is the root node here root node is company so organization if you talk about organization so this is the organization so organization can be a company it can be a college okay or let us say it can be a university university right or it can be a education department some education department so under this under this uh, for example department a so under this company or let us say this is the company so under this we have education department so here we have department a department a so under this department a we have child node one so child node one is employee one employee two so here department b we have child node employee three and employee four so like this under this university also will be employee one employee two so under this again company will be having employee employee 1 or employee 2 so like this the subdivisions will be there so the main uh, node here is what organization for example main node here is company so under the company we have department a child node will be department a and child node uh, will be department b so under child node department a child node employee 1 employee 2 so like this we have department b we have employee 3 and employee 4 so like that subdivisions will be there in that hierarchy so from the top level so this is the top level okay so top level to the down so from top to down top to down so this will be the root and here will be the relationships okay relationships now advantages of uh, this uh, 
hierarchical database model so what are the advantages here simplicity so hierarchical model is simple and native for representing data with a clear parent child relationship so this is a very simplest model where you can just find out the parent child relationship it's a very easy to understand because it's uh, like division and subdivisions when you talk about the uh, any organization for let us take a organization like a college so suppose it's the main root so what is the main root here this is the main root so under this root college we have different departments okay so we have department 1 let us say department 1 department 2 and department 3 so under this department we have sub departments here okay so uh, let us say class 1 class 2 and class 3 so like this we have in this also we have class 1 uh, class 2 or class 3 or we can say a b c sections so under the sections how many students so like that the uh, hierarchy will be formed from the top level to the bottom level so this is the root level of any organization so like this this kind of model we call it as this kind of database we call it as hierarchical database model so it is a very simplest model and it is easy to understand and it is clear to understand the parent child relationship right from the top to the bottom so it aligns well in real world hierarchical structures like organizational charts and file directories so organizational chart also will start from the top so if you want to show any location also uh, just we have to uh, go with the main city or main state then city then mandal then village like that that hierarchy so like that uh, if you talk about the uh, prime minister then under the prime minister different ministers under that again local ministers like that the hierarchy will be formed so this kind of structures is called as the hierarchical database structure so main advantage of this structure is simplicity it's a very simplest model it's very easy to understand by the users so easy to understand through the charts if you just put this chart in uh, any organization just to understand the hierarchy the total entire working of that organization will be easily to understand so this kind of data structures will be given in the gis to understand very clearly about the any kind of organizations or any kind of company if you want to know the entire uh, the process or the working of that particular structure the working of that particular company or college or organization it shows through the hierarchy uh, database model so it's a very simplest model that is the main advantage of that it's a very simplest model and it aligns the well and real world hierarchical structures so it will show you the real world and hierarchical <coughs> structures like organizational charts and the file directories also it will show you next uh, if you show uh, talk about the efficient uh, access it has a efficient access too so the second advantage of this uh, hierarchical database model is it's a efficient access accessing the hierarchical data can be efficient if the relationships are well defined and data retrieval follows the hierarchical path so accessing the hierarchical data can be efficient it will be helpful in the relationships and it will be well defined the data retrieval is very easy and uh, in the hierarchical part so accessing the hierarchy is very efficient kind of model which will help us to easily understand the type of the uh, information or easily understand easily uh, retrieve the data and it, it it will show you the easy paths from top to the bottom level so it, that's why the uh, it's very efficient to access any kind of users can access this kind of model and it is easy to interpret the information very easily so data integrity so uh, the inherent uh, hierarchical structure helps maintain the ref uh, referential integrity so data integrity also it uh, helps to maintain the data <coughs> referential integrity and ensuring the child records are always linked to a uh, valid parent record so it will ensure the child records are also linked to a parent record and it will help us to find out the integration between the uh, parent and the child so data integration uh, data integrity is very helpful in the parent child records and always linked to a valid parent record so this is a uh, very important uh, we can say simplicity efficient access data integrity is very much uh, easier uh, it's a very good advantage in hierarchical database model 
Now, what are the disadvantages? If you talk about the disadvantages of this hierarchical database model, so the main disadvantage here is the hierarchical model is rigid. So, first of all, it is rigid and it does not handle uh, many to many relationships efficiently. Uh, it's a rigid uh, kind of data. It cannot handle many relationships. Only it can handle the tree-like structure from root to the bottom. And it is having a challenging uh, to represent the complex relationships or to modify the hierarchy once it is established. So it's a very challenging uh, once you go with the complex relationships and it will uh, modify and uh, to modify the hierarchy and once it's established. So once you uh, modify, once you establish the hierarchy, it's very difficult to modify and re-establish again. That is the main uh, disadvantage in this that lack of flexibility the data is not flexible whereas if you talk about the advantages the data is very simple easy to understand and uh, easy to access the data can be easily accessible and any kind of users can access this data but when you come to disadvantage of this kind of model the disadvantage of this kind of model is only the problem here is when it deals with the represents with the complex relationships it has a problem with the uh, modification of this kind of data so once you try to modify it's very hard to modify and re-establish this kind of data so hierarchical model is a very rigid kind of data and it cannot handle the many uh, relationships efficiently so that is the main problem in uh, the hierarchy database model rest all problematic is very less the disadvantage is very less but uh, when you talk about the advantages it is uh, very easy to uh, understand so uh, next if you talk about the data redundancy uh, in this disadvantage so data redundancy can occur when similar information needs to be repeated so re data redundancy can occur uh, the similar information needs to be repeated once you want to repeat the information it will be very uh, difficult to uh, uh, show the information and within the hierarchy leading to the potential inconsistency it will be there so once you talk about the, within the hierarchy it leads to the potential inconsistency consistency won't remain the same and the complex queries when you talk about the complex queries uh, so performing queries that require the navigating uh, multiple paths in the hierarchy or see it performs the queries and it will require the navigating multiple paths in the hierarchy or aggregating data from different parts of the hierarchy and can be complex and inefficient so it, if you talk about the complex queries so this will uh, be like performing queries it requires the navigating the multiple paths if you want to do any query you have to go with the multiple paths or uh, otherwise you have to just uh, aggregating data from the different parts of the hierarchy and it can has a complex and inefficient uh, information while doing the complex query. So these are the different disadvantages of the hierarchical uh, database. So um, this was like advantage and uh, disadvantage. So I hope you understood about the hierarchical database model. It's a very simplest model. It is easy to understand. It shows the child parent and child relationship it shows the organization and the employees relationship so it is very easy to read once it is um, displayed on the board it is easy to understand how the organization is working who is on the top level and under that who are the working members under that organization so this is kind of model we use in this gis database that is hierarchical database model so these are the references you can just go through about the more content if you want to know you can just go through this book uh, by MNG Reddy, uh, Remote Sensing and GIS by GIS Publications and you can just go through these links for finding out the more content about this kind of data. So that's all for today. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.